Here's where the story gets mind-bending. The journey begins in the early 20th century. Physicists had just discovered that atoms, the building blocks of everything, weren't indivisible after all. J.J. Thompson's discovery of the electron in 1897 cracked open the atom. Soon after, Ernest Rutherford revealed the nucleus, and Niels Bohr introduced the quantum idea to explain atomic stability. But this was only the beginning. As particle accelerators were invented, more and more subatomic particles were found, protons, neutrons, and eventually a whole zoo of exotic entities. Physics was rapidly shifting from Newton's solid mechanics into a strange quantum world. Here's where the story gets mind-bending. In the 1920s and 1930s, pioneers like Paul Dirac, Werner Heisenberg, and Wolfgang Pauli began grappling with a deep question. How do you merge quantum mechanics with Einstein's special relativity? Dirac's famous equation predicted not only the behavior of the electron, but also something shocking, the existence of antimatter. That was one of the first hints that fields, not particles, were the true bedrock of reality. By the mid-20th century, physicists realized they needed a new framework. It wasn't enough to just think of particles bouncing around. Instead, every particle, electrons, quarks, photons, had to be understood as excitations of an underlying field that permeates all of space. This was the birth of quantum field theory, or QFT for short. 